So you first want to make a graph on your paper of the four quadrants. Now over here, you want to draw a shape. So I'm going to draw a triangle. Then you're going to take your patty paper and place it like this on your paper. And you're going to trace the triangle that you drew. Now we're going to do a reflection over the x-axis, which is down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip it and line it up to where it's right here on the paper. And you're going to lift the paper and draw a point at the vertices where it is, and then you can pull off the paper, connect your vertices, and you have reflected this shape over this shape. Now we know it's a reflection because here, this is one, two, three, four spaces up, and down here, this is one, two, three, four spaces down. So this one is four spaces up on this line, this one is four spaces down on this line. This one is four plus three, so seven spaces. This one is four plus three, which is also seven spaces. So reflections are the same distance away from the x-axis. Now we could take our paper again, and this time we could reflect it over the y-axis and line it up and do the same process of lifting up the paper and seeing where it is right there, lifting it up and drawing the point and checking, making sure you have it right, lifting it up, drawing the point, lifting it up and drawing the point and now we have successfully reflected this over the y-axis. And all the same things are true about how far away it is, that they're the same distance apart, across there. Now we could also reflect it across the line y equals x. Y equals X is a line that starts at the origin and goes up one over one, up one over one, up one over one. Now this is an important reflection that you'll use later on in upper level math with inverse functions. But this time, I'm gonna fold it right on that line. In my reflection, I'm still going to lift up to get my points. And this time, it changed directions. And that is a reflection along the y equals x. These are all the basic reflections that we're going to do today. So I hope this video helped. Good. Press